this is my brother's infinity m45 it's a 2008 and a, you know he bought it maybe a month ago and right now he's the luckiest man alive to have a brother like me to inspect his stuff obviously this it would have been nice to do a pre-purchase inspection which we've done by the way and we rejected like what two cars just out of looking at them mm -hmm. but this one right here you know we're just going off, off a few things and it just sounded good looks good on paper carfax was clean but then i got the car and i started looking at it and one of the first things i said was like do you remember what i said when I pop the hood uh no not immediately Oh, but I well, did. you said the engine has been replaced. The engine looks new, right? Yeah. I was looking at the metal. I, I know it came from California and it's, you know, they don't have rust and stuff, but looking at the metal here, this car's got what, 170,000 miles? 60. Yep. Yeah, it looks really, really good. So I said, well, let's do other things we need to do. I had noticed that the coolant level was a lot higher than max, which was a little worrying, you know? Why would it be like that? Then I decided to remove this which part of the inspection because I wanted us to inspect the radiator cap to see what's inside the coolant, the filler neck. So you have to remove it for this one. And one of the first things was like, this is from California, isn't it? It was from a dusty place of California too. So you can see a little bit of dust, not a, nothing too alarming yet, but it's the kind of thing I definitely try to remove, you know, give it a nice rinse down mm -hmm. and then i don't think they spilled too much oil but then there's usually this whenever you you buy one of these cars and then i think i started telling you now i'm sure that they replaced the engine because we had talked about this one here and i told you that a lot of a lot of them you'd see this flapping loose usually because of it but i think the glue that they use doesn't really hold very well either but then just looking at the layout looking at some things i felt like this one certainly has been removed and this was like the giveaway for me why would it be like that usually when you're trying to depending on how if they remove the engine from the top or the bottom if it was done by a shop usually they just do it from the bottom well it depends on how well equipped the shop is if this was done by infinity they do it from the bottom they do it from the bottom and that means that they wouldn't have to worry about this. But from the top, that's when you end up scratching here while you try to weasel the, you know, get the engine in there. So not only that, and then I started looking further. I saw this right here. So this bracket that usually holds the fuel, fuel lines, they never, almost never make it whenever you do a, an engine replacement. It's either going to be uh, pulled out when you move your, uh, your hoses around or as you install it, just installing the engine, you're going to break that on the way down. And usually what I do is I remove the, the clip so that when you move things up and down, you don't break it, then I put it back. But I've noticed uh, with a lot of them, and even when, well, even me, when I started doing these replacements, I would break those. It's not the worst thing, but it's just something you notice. So that being said, I started just noticing a few different things like this one right here. It's not the worst thing in the world, but they use the wrong clamp for the hose. I think people like warm screws. They think they're doing the, the best thing in the world, but yeah. So right now it's more of a post-purchase inspection is what we call this, just to know what's coming at you and what we're going to be doing in the future. The few maintenance items to address, we've been addressing uh, loose clips. The fender liners were all loose. Over here, we caught something else. Um, the way the battery was replaced and this one, oh, I kind of got this one in there, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, hey. So one thing, you had told me that the car died a few different times. No, just one time. Just once, mm -hmm. but today died again, it but died. you mm -hmm. had rolled your windows down, opened your sunroof because you were trying to put the visor. And I said, oh, I said, yes, you do have the radar detector, but not only that, I think that because when you put it into the second position to be able to move your windows, mm -hmm. your fans run, your audio might run. So if you don't catch it and you had stuff open for a long time, oh, wow, that yeah. would kill it. So we jumped it and everything worked, but almost immediately I told him that there's something wrong with this. This is not the right battery. The cold cranking amps might be good, 
but the fact that this is this far the terminals for these bat for the right batteries for these no this is how i caught it i caught it by the terminals just seeing how loose that was it it is not fully secure it just looks funky mm -hmm. and then i realized that the terminals are in the middle the terminals are supposed to be right here so that this can attach it right here and then this one does not have to be removed from this bracket then here i noticed that this terminal had been bent or rather straightened out and i said this one is supposed to be to hang over the edge With a 90 degree. they had a 90 degree so the thinking was we're going to one buy a new battery or we'll get that battery thing sorted out including maybe if it, that means getting my battery ready mm -hmm. because i do have a spit well the one in mine but we're going to do this a, another day and i can change this terminal by the way i do have spare ones i just need to know where they are mm -hmm. in that we don't want to try to uh, bend this thing again and then have it break right now and you've got a three and a half trip you know three and a half hour trip back home so that's something we'll address they use the wrong battery and we said instead of messing with it thing is it works right now it's working so the best thing to do is to just keep it working exactly like it is and as i said just seeing small things here and there right now there's a gap here i was trying to mess with this there is a gap something was installed goofy I'll, I'll take it off to figure it out, but it seems like they are not meeting the way this one is supposed to be here. So, oh here, this one is moved a little far that way. There you go, that's why we couldn't get things working right. Did I lose another thing over here? <laughs> I did. <laughs> We've been replacing a lot of those. I did mention, I was going to mention the fender liners. You were smelling a, a burning sensation, a burning smell. And we notice, if I can see underneath here, that the, you can see the rub on this upper control arm right here. Yeah, the fender liners, you can't really see right here, but these were sagging low enough to rub against the tire and also against the metal. So that is something we're working on. Um, I think physically though, it's one of those cars that unless you knew absolutely everything about these vehicles, you wouldn't really know what you were, you, you know, you, it's okay, it's a passable car. It's just that I know what I know about these vehicles that I'm catching certain issues about it. But I think all in all, it's a good buy, right? You drove mm -hmm. it, what? How many uh, miles was it from? from that you know from vegas to here i'd say i've or, driven it it's it's roughly 1500 miles from 15 when it, from when you bought it no from vegas to to home to home yeah and then you've been driving it even more so you probably put about 2000 miles on this thing and just kept yeah, going I already had an oil change you did okay and but you said it's you've been keeping an eye on your oil level right mm -hmm. which is kind of low it's low yeah, you need to keep. I usually kept carry them around. I looked at it this morning and it was good. Well, I mean, it's but rested long enough. Like yeah. So when you were on the slope, you shouldn't trust those numbers. Mm -hmm. You want it flat, and I can already see. Here's the thing. Well, this side is more true. I could do it again. And I don't know why yours looks bent on that side. Anyway, just dip it again. One side shows better than the other. Yeah, I'd say this is more true, or maybe, maybe I think not really a half. I think it dripped because you held it this way. Yeah. You want to do it again and hold it angled downwards. Just do. Get your other hand in there. All the way to the bottom. Pull. Then pull it up. Okay. Let's see. So, it looks like half-ish because now the way we hold it, it's now dripping the other way. But I'd say maybe half. So what I usually do with all my infinities, you might have to me up over here. What I usually do is that I have a bunch of, thanks. I have a bunch of jugs and I fill, I put uh, a quarter, yeah, a quarter of a quart. So that every time, you know, you 
at least because I watch mine at least every week, you catch it at that quart, um, uh, sorry, did I say quarter of a quart? A half of a quart. Half of a quart. Yeah, usually 16 ounces. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when it's that low, I just pour in. Because sometimes you're trying to measure it, you know, from hole to hole it is. You've you have driven enough of these. Mm -hmm. It's it's one quart, but I never have to make up too much. I'm, all, I'm never too far away from needing half a quart, you know. Sometimes you end up needing a whole quart, but yeah, I think... Do you know what oil they use, man? It's so thin. It's really thin. It's uh, 5W30? <laughs> um, 30. 30, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know we're going to do our own oil changes. I think the big things we're planning for whenever we get a chance this summer, we'll do oil change. We'll do rear differential um, fluid change. We might or might not do um, transmission. I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. We might consider doing coolant at some point. I know that we did check here first this is the right cap so that's nice and we saw that the coolant level is okay in here i don't think it's that crazy it's it's right near the top it's really dark um it's very i don't, I don't know, know if it's 50 50 man so if in doubt what i'm gonna do you we're think? just going to flush it yeah all right. Just go ahead, flush the coolant system. While we do that, we'll take that opportunity to replace this um, bleeder valve over here. Right now, I'm not going to touch it at all. It's plastic, and what usually happens is that they, on the M45, it's not as bad. With the M56s, you're almost guaranteed it could break without you touching it. It's the uh, M56 engine bays are really hot. With these ones here, not too bad, but if you keep working on them, while working on them, you might break something. So this is why this visit was important. We didn't really think we we're gonna do too much. Yeah, we've done a little bit of testing with the wheels, but this is just to see what you uh, intend to replace eventually, mm -hmm. and then start buying stuff, and we'll, you know, we'll figure out what to buy. I can't remember at what point, if at all, the Carfax said that they replaced the spark plugs, but if you wanna consider that, um, but again, the way you look at this is that you don't buy a car like this. I know this is supposed to be an in-between car. You don't spend so much money on it. You, you know, if you want to do everything just in case, you'll be spending five, six grand easy, you know. But we'll just want to look at it and decide what's very important to do. Uh, this one here, not too bad. I think might have been replaced recently. Sorry, this one here. Because sometimes people do not notice that the the hose vacuum hose going to the vacuum actuator sometimes breaks down but you can see this is new this one here isn't eh, not the newest but the newest. we can buy uh this one here look look at these yeah. so micro cracks here and there it's probably working okay and oh we'll get a chance to do this video now that i've got you to show what this uh plunger looks like um yeah you show it from the back as to what it does at a sudden rpm whenever you give it gas so interesting thing for sure um what else yeah that's about it honestly i think some of the key things i've mentioned it's not it doesn't seem like it's burning oil another thing we needed to look at was this because when we were underneath there we saw that your the under tray had a little bit of water we did not take it apart now the reason we did not remove the under tray was some of these fasteners were questionable in that yes they're there but you said you fixed something it was sagging when you first got it and what happens is that yeah two things happen with the under shroud i think i might have documented this in the video is that it's plastic it's old it's going to sag even when you have all the fasteners in all the right places it's going to sag in the middle then the second thing is that over time, all the different repairs, whenever they op open the shroud, the shroud itself might be fine, but the point it fastens onto the bumper, those get ripped over time, you know, just corroding and all that. So we need to find, get a strategy. Again, right now we're looking at this. The main strategy is that it's running now. It's fine. Don't mess with it yet. Don't do anything, stra uh, any, anything too... Um, you know too big yet so we'll come back for it we've been out here for like 15 minutes man but it's kind of important stuff i've, I've always meant to do a um, a video on a buying guide on these cars i don't know why i've not done it 
I suppose I'm just always learning something new over the years. <laughs> but maybe that's what I need to do. You do, uh, you know, 2014 version of it. This is what I know right now. Yeah. Then you do a 2024 version saying this is what I've learned by now. Yeah, yeah but so we're, we're going to put it back together. I think it's okay. I think we'll still need to address this. I would love to. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at it. Take, um, keep in mind what that level is. I want you to look at it. Yeah. And then... I have a feeling that that's what was dripping in there. It, when it overflows, it overflows through here. This point right here. Have you added windshield washer fluid yet? It's interesting why this is dyed like this. You might try to add you know, fluid and just see. Sometimes I've had one, I don't know what happened to it. I put in and it would not, never fill. It had a hole somewhere right where the neck meets the body. It would hold some amount. It's just never as much as a it normal one could carry. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to put this back together. I think we've seen quite enough right now. It's pretty interesting that this place is so dusty right here of all places. Hey, hang tight. I might need to Bro. do something with that reservoir real quick. I'm, I'm just thinking about it. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, hey, um, I think solid purchase if you ask me mm -hmm. looks pretty good yes, maybe. from what i can tell oh yeah we do have another thing to take care of right remember so one thing that we just did is that we provided these plastics i had this from something else but we'll need to come back and come back and address this right Mm -hmm. because we had found that I think the gasket on the well yeah he lost this one here that's why we we're looking at this but somehow the gasket on the air filter was sitting a little awkwardly so we need I reseated it on the filter itself and this way the housing even without a second clip does a better job when I first saw it it was like this high you know right now it wants to go down so told him you might need to come here a few different times and look at it see how things are and man i've had cars that are pretty have pretty low miles but there's some components here that are really new that i'm thinking it's not just a matter of being a california car i just think some of these things were replaced and are new things like that this looks really new yeah so yeah solid buy man i think it's good i think we're gonna do some projects with it look cool yeah all right.